Before we get to our interview with Kaylee Edwards, Salisbury University Athletics, we'd like to thank its corporate partner, the Optimist Club of Salisbury. The Optimist Club of Salisbury is a friend of the youth and provides programs to support our youth-oriented endeavors. With over 50 years of local club history, we are proud to serve the youth and proud to serve Salisbury Athletics. For more information, visit salisburyoptimist.org. Joining me at this time is SU softball senior, kinda, <laughs> Kaylee Edwards. Kaylee, how you been doing? How's been practices? How's been classes going this fall? Doing good. Practices have been really good. Um, classes have been good, too. I just started grad programs, so like kind of a senior, but in grad programs, so they're going good so far, yeah. How many uh, classes do you have been taking for grad school? So in my program, I take three classes a semester, so not too bad. They're, I like them so far, so. How has fall ball been going with Coach Lord? I know she she kind of came on board this summer, uh, taking the, taking the, the spot of Coach Knight. Uh, how's she been getting on with the team so far? Really good, I think so far. I think she was really like intentional about like reaching out to all of us and trying to connect with us as much as she could over the summer. And then obviously, um, now that we're practicing and stuff, that's like the best way to find out who we are and how we play. So. I think she's still doing meetings with everybody, which is really cool. Um, so, yeah, she definitely stepped right up into it. One of the things that um, you were, you brought up before, you're in grad school, but you're still playing. You know, one of the unfortunate benefits of what happened last last season, you know, before our, our shutdown for COVID in March, the team was on fire. You know, you guys won 10 games in a row. You were the sixth-ranked team in the nation. I think I saw you hit six home runs. I, obviously, I stat a lot of your guys' <laughs> games, and there were a couple balls where you just set them into into orbit, and they, they're still probably <laughs> not landing Thank so far. Thank you. Uh, but what? So what? What was last year like? What was that experience like? And how did it, how did you transition from you know playing? You guys were almost halfway through your year to kind of a virtual environment for the rest of that semester. Yeah. Well, I think when we were playing like I think we all knew it was like something special like we were having so much fun like we knew in the moment we were like this is it like we're living the best life right now like this is a lot of fun like playing some really good softball um but yeah it unfortunately got ended abruptly but I think the transition was a little difficult at least for me because it's like you go from being with your teammates every day and then all of a sudden within the week you're home and you're very confused about what's happening so I definitely think it was an adjustment but we definitely had meetings so we could still connect and all that stuff but yeah I think it's a challenge. Was it a decision hard for you to want to keep playing or did you know that uh, since we have this weight we have a waiver for uh, from the spring athletes for this upcoming year did, was it kind of an easy decision for you to, to use that waiver? I think yes and no. I think I love to play, so I think in that sense it was so easy for me to make that decision. And actually, fortunately, I – well, fortunately and unfortunately, but I didn't have any plans lined up. I didn't have grad school. I was kind of going to take a year off. So it definitely worked out in my favor. Um, so it was an easy decision, but also, I also think it takes some time and, like, thought to, like, think through, like, because this program is two years, you know. So it was easy, but it also took some time to figure out, you know. For sure, but in your undergrad days, you know, you were a double major in exercise science and psychology. Well, why did you want to choose yeah. those majors? Yeah, I, I love those majors. Um, so I originally started out as an exercise science major and a psych minor, and then when I transferred here, it was really cool because I got the opportunity to major in both, so I thought that was really fun. Um, but I really like the combination of both. I like how psych is kind of within sports and, like, the mental aspect, and I find that really interesting and cool, so... Um, I think both majors are a really cool fit for me, and I enjoyed both of them when I took them here. So what, what are your plans once you're done with your grad program? So I'm thinking about doing strength and conditioning coaching and eventually branching off into more psych, but they go hand in hand, so I don't have like a clear pathway of um, – like a clear-cut pathway of what I want my career to look like, but I think I'm just open to whatever opportunities come. And, yeah, I'm passionate about both, so – Whatever works out, and that's the, the mindset you want to have, especially yeah. as a as a yeah. going to be a young professional in a couple yeah. of years. That's the mindset you want to have. Um, speaking of you, you transferred here a couple of years ago. You know you are involved in a kind of a life changing experience in, in 2018 before you transferred to Salisbury. Um, how did that that kind of change you, and how did you become a stronger person after what happened? Um, yeah, so uh, my dad and I were in a car accident, but I I think that that really shaped who I am today like I never wish that that would happen but 
fortunately, I wouldn't I wouldn't be that person, um, the person I am today without that experience. So I think it really makes me more empathetic towards people, and I think that's why I like want to go into what I want to go into because um, I love the mindset about everything and perspective, and I think that's what it gave me is a lot of perspective. So. Um, like I said, even though I wish it didn't happen, it made it forced me and pushed me out of my comfort zone and made me grow as a person. Um, and it may become my pathway came here. So it kind of worked out. Definitely. You know, we're, we're, we're all just glad that you're OK now and you're able to to be with us, obviously. Yeah, and yeah. and you once again, you're a big part of, of Salisbury and we're a big and still a big part of the softball team. Um, you ready for some rapid fire, fast five questions to kind of get yeah, to know you a little better? Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. The first question is, who's the funniest member of the team? We have a lot of funny people on our team, but I think the one that stands out to me is Maddie Lednum. I spent a lot of time <laughs> with her at third, so, yeah, she's really funny. You know, you kind of you jumped around different positions throughout yeah. the couple past couple of years. What's your favorite position? Uh, my favorite position is definitely catcher, for sure. For sure. But I had a lot of fun at third. I learned to really love that position. It was a lot of fun. Gotcha, I gotcha. Our next question is, who is your favorite athlete? I would say I really love the Washington Caps, so anybody on there, but maybe T- TJ Oshie, maybe. Hey, Captain, yeah. Captain America. <laughs> uh, is, is hockey your favorite sport? I just really enjoy watching it, like going to hockey games and watching it. I think it's super competitive. I really love, like, I don't know, you get into it. I like it. <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with that. Um Third question is, if you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Definitely something with bread or pasta or carbs. That's for me. <laughs> so, yeah, anything with that. What's, what's your, do you, do you cook? What's your favorite meal to make? Uh, I don't really cook. I don't really, I eat, I cook because I have to eat. So, <laughs> I don't really love the cook, but I like to bake. I can make some, um, some nice pies if you like pies. Okay. Uh, I think it's obvious I like pie. So, <laughs> what's your what's your favorite uh, pie to make? I love apple pie. Okay, it's a lot of fun to make too. It's super easy. Sure, That's, that does really sound good. It's making me kind of hungry. <laughs> uh, next question is: What are your top songs on your Spotify on repeat playlist? Uh, they change so fre- frequently, but <laughs> I think for sure Drake is always on there. At least okay. one of his songs is always on there. And then right now, um, I really like um, Ariana Grande's new album so definitely a couple songs from there on there um and i also like country too so that's definitely always on there hey nothing wrong with that i I, I like good good to have your music to music taste all over the place (laughs) yeah um my last kind of get to know your question is who where's your favorite uh vacation spot um for sure florida i haven't really gone anywhere like Bahamas, I would love to go to Bahamas, so many yeah. But definitely Florida, because my aunt lives there, and it's a lot of fun every time we go. So it's definitely my favorite. What part of Florida? She lives in like the Tampa area. I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah. All right, my last my last question for you is: yeah. What stands out to you about Salisbury, and what what would you what advice would you give somebody looking at coming to SU? Well, the thing that stands out to me is I what I really love about it is like the culture. And like the pride that we all have as like people, as students and staff, like going to SU, um, I really enjoyed that. Like it was something to be proud of, like proud of, you know. Mm-hmm. Go Gulls. Hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> Go Gulls. Um, and also just like the facilities are really nice, and everybody down here is so nice. The staff, they're willing to help, and it that stands stands out to me. Um, what was the second question? Any advice? What was it? Yeah. Any what advice would you give to? Any a prospective student looking at coming to Salisbury? Um, well, I think any advice would be definitely look at our facilities. Our facilities are top notch. Like I love our facilities. Um, so definitely look at those. And the classes are awesome. I think no matter what major um, you're looking at, they're all great programs. So I think that that's cool to look at as well. But yeah. All right, Kaylee. Thank you for taking the time to talk to me. Any shout outs yeah, you want to no make problem. before we wrap up this video? No, no specific shout-outs. Go Gulls. <laughs> <laughs>